Hi children, welcome back again. Okay, in this video we are going to uh, discuss the next continuation of the last topic that is uh, we will discuss about the types of cloths in this video. Okay, then uh, types of cloths, how do we are going to differentiate the cloths into uh, uh, other types? Like for example, types of cloths, we have one type of cloths. For example, we say them as a uniform. Okay, that is also cloth. Then we have costumes then we have traditional cloths now let us discuss one by one about this okay uniform means what you uh, you will wear uniform when where when there is a school right when you are going to school you have a same color same fabric same quality of the cloth if the 500 students are there all 500 students girls and boys have the same type of the cloths to wear that is uniform okay that is uniform same uniformity is there uh, even other than you other than students teachers also have the uniform in some schools their lady teachers will be having less salwar kameez or uh, sari or uh, james teachers will be having the same color of the uh, shirt and pant we have seen then other than this doctors have the uniform police have the uniform and then uh, uh, some watchmen have the uniform isn't it and uh, some uh, um, uh, this one uh, officers will be there they have the uniform isn't it uh, so like this uh, we can use the uniform that is first category uh, of the types of the cloths is uniform then we have uh, costumes costumes means what for example when you will be having the dan uh, sorry gathering or if you are making some drama participating in drama or you are there in a fancy dress competition or you are there in some other you need to wear that type of dress for example you are playing the role of a Kitur Rani, Sangoli Rayana some other roles like doctor what you will do you are not that at that time you are not any doctor or you are not any um, uh, Kitur Rani Channam but you are wearing the costume what she used to wear what she used to hold so you are using those all things for your, uh, for yourself to make her um, her role. Then those are called as the costumes. In the costumes again we have uh, types like uh, dancing costume is there, swimming costume is there, running co costume is there, sports to cost uh, sorry sports costume is there, and uh, uh, drama costume is there. Okay. So this all we have the costumes. This, this is second type of the cloth. And then last one we have traditional costume. Traditional wear. What is this traditional wear? See for example children we are we are all are there in Karnataka. That Karnataka state has got, has, has got one type of the cloth. Traditionally it has come. Then if you go to Maharashtra that is trad another uh, traditional cloth is there. They have particular traditional cloth. If you wear that cloth, it is it will be identified that oh, yes, you are you have become now the Maharashtrian. Then if you go to West Bengal, Kerala, Kashmir, Gujarat, okay, Rajasthani, we have the different one the definite type of the uh, costume there. We are using those particular cloths. For them, we call as the traditional cloths. In the marriage, in some um, traditional, some type of cloths will be there. For example, I have here. Okay. So you can see in the West Bengal, like this Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Punjab. So, like this particular different one type of uh, cloths will be there. They will wear in that, that particular place. So, these are called as the traditional cloths. In the Scotland, Japan, Saudi Arabia, India, Russia, we have like this dresses. Again, these are also comes under the traditional cloths. So, children, like this, here also you can see in the church, father is wearing, uh, in India, this lady will wear like this dress. This is in Saudi Arabia, this is in other country, this is Russia, this is uh, Scotland. So, you can, by seeing the dress, you can match these countries so like this now you came to know now how the dresses are useful for a variety of uh, uses the dresses are they should be there to make many differentiation other than protection and other than covering our body dresses will help uh, help us 
in these all ideas or in these all areas. Um, so then other than this, what is left children see? Uh, swimming costume, dance costume and this is drama costume. You can see this one. Okay. And the uniforms, nurse, doctor, soldier, I have forgotten, soldier and here he is a police, policeman. And when uniform teachers and you students also have the uniforms. So like this we can see the different types of the plots. So I hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed with children now in this video. And there is no doubt and you are enjoying this video. So before ending we, I am going to discuss some questions. That is we use dash for knitting the sweaters. What, what, what we use to knit the sweater? Yes, wool we are going to use. In the summer, we wear dash and dash cloths. Cotton cloths and the linen cloths. Uh, next one, I have two questions here. Why do we wear cloths? I have discussed starting to cover our body and to protect from heat, cold and uh, the dust and the, from the rain. We are going to uh, use the, wear the cloths. Then, uh, where do we get cotton from? From where the cotton is going to come? I have told you. From the cotton plant, plant will be there in the, uh, uh, in the form of flower. We are going to get the cotton. So, uh, this, this is only your homework. You have to write these all four questions in your notebook. Right? And answers also you have to write. If you get some confusion, you can see the video. You can rewind and see the video. Uh, let us meet in the next video with the next topic. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and do the, all the homeworks.